so here I am just left the dollar store because I'm going to do like a fairy gnome kind of little project um, I just thought of it this morning um, don't know why but Christina's like we don't have any gnomes in a garden I said we don't have a garden so um, I'm gonna make something with all the spring stuff that just came out at the dollar store I believe I spent ten dollars at the dollar store we'll see where this takes me but funny story before I start um, cashier I asked for the newspaper and he says inserts are in the side in the inside cover so I go oh thank you awesome I said my kids think I'm crazy that I actually read the newspaper here I am all like Mufas, I looked terrible. I didn't take a shower yet. I just ran out to get the paper. And he said, Yeah, I think it's a generational thing, ma'am. Ma'am. Okay, guys. So, just to show you what I got at the dollar store, I got the flowers. I got this flower and garden tin pot. I also bought some moss. These cute little fairy garden figurines which are so much less obviously at the Dallas store at Michaels. Some ribbon, some pink, flower, voltives, uh, some of these figurines, so cute. A flower, um, sponge or floral foam, and this moss sheet, and of course, my coffee. So let's see where this takes me. I spent about $12, $13 on this. Okay, and this is how it looks. I have all my little figurines. I use my moss. Um, I have to fluff out this bow a little bit more. Um, and I put all the other flowers here. And I put this, it was very simple. It's mindless, but it looks pretty and it is pretty decor for the spring. Now I also put those lights, I know you can't see them only if it's in the dark, but um, I'll put it next to my floating teacup that I made around this time last year my two floating teacups and see how it adds to that. All I have to say is holy flowers. <laughs> and you really can't see the light going, but of course at nighttime you can. And here's that floating teacup I made last year. And this one, I love making floating teacups. They are so much fun. So yeah, kind of getting ready for spring. It kind of opens things up a bit. And uh, now we're gonna get ready and start cooking for Sunday dinner. Oh, I wanted to show you guys some videos of the newest little tiny crossbody bags I made. Here's my husband. What are you making for Sunday dinner? Well, I'm not making Sunday dinner. I'm making Sunday lunch. I'm gonna <laughs> make some broccoli rabe with sweet Italian sausage sauteed olive oil, some garlic, and I've already chopped up the rapini. And this is the secret right here, is boiling the sausage and seeing the excess fat come out of the sausage. See the fat floating in there? Yes. So by boiling the sausage first, it, gets, it takes a little bit of fat out of the, 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 the dish. So That's there's true. plenty of fat in the sausage, so it'll still be nice and tasty, but Yum. this gets all the excess fat out of the sausage. Nice. Okay, so that's our Sunday lunch. Thank you, honey. Got for you. Okay, and we also we also have our filet mignon, uh, as we all heard about it in yesterday's movie or video. I have it marinating with some garlic and parsley and olive oil. So we're gonna make that and asparagus or asparagi. I don't know. And the cupcakes my daughter decided to make last night. Wait, can I ask a question of all your viewers? Yeah. Ask them if the asparagus makes their pee smell because it does. Okay, for that, no. I okay. almost forgot, guys. This is the huge Tupperware I bought yesterday. Um, and it is housing currently all my finished pocketbooks. Okay. Now stay tuned for the pictures of the tiny crossbodies bags that I made. 